everyone, welcome to The Storyist. Losing someone you loved can leave you a hole of extreme darkness, emptiness, and sadness. Join me in this video as I tell the story of a kid who loses her mother. Stay until the end of the video to witness her journey to acceptance and forgiveness. It was a typical afternoon for an 11-year-old kid. She's sitting on the couch, eating her favorite popcorn while playing her favorite video game. The only thing that caught her attention was when the door opened. It was her father, who came from a business trip. She hugged her father because he had been away for almost two weeks. However, her excitement didn't last. As her father grabbed someone from the door, she extended her neck to check who was their visitor. It's a lady that she'd never seen before. A long-legged lady with brunette hair. She looked very professional. She raised her eyebrows on the woman. She knew the reason why the lady was standing in front of her. Finally, her father said something. This is Lorraine, my fiancé, said the father. And this is my daughter, Diane, the father continued. Diane never heard the word fiancé. Well, she was kind of a nerd. So before she reacted, she grabbed her tablet and went for the dictionary application and looked for the meaning of the unfamiliar word. While reading the description, she couldn't explain how she felt. She felt betrayed by her father. For Lorraine, it was a little awkward how she saw the reaction of Chris's daughter towards her. It was obvious that the girl didn't want her around. Despite that feeling, she reached for the paper bag beside her and gave it to Diane. Chris sat beside her daughter and explained that Lorraine is now part of their family and will be living with them. No, you can't replace my mom. She's just on vacation and she'll be back soon. You're just my dad's pastime like everyone else said Diane. Then she walked out to her room and slammed the door. As a psychologist, Lorraine was worried about Diane's reaction and her reason that her mom was just having a vacation. As a kid, her father let her live with these lies, like she's been waiting for someone that will never come back. Losing the primary support of her life can leave a grave impact on her, emotionally and psychologically. She suggested that Diane needed to know the truth. However, Chris didn't have the courage to tell Diane the truth about her mother, that she died from a plane crash while on duty. He asked his fiancée to give him some time before he could actually tell the truth. To break the drama, Chris told Lorraine that her daughter's favorite dish was spaghetti, and it's been so long since they both tasted homemade spaghetti. He also comforted Lorraine, saying that her daughter was a lovely kid. She just needed to process things. The spaghetti was about to cook when she remembered that her car was parked in the guest area and she's been staying in the condo unit for a long time. She's worried that it might get towed. Chris told her that it will be fine, because he already bought the parking area. Diane was watching her favorite cartoon series when she overheard the conversation about Lorraine's new car. She suddenly grinned, looked for the car key, and grabbed it. On her way to the parking lot, she told herself that she would make Lorraine's life miserable. She looked for the parking area, and clicked the remote car key. She heard a familiar sound. As she turned, it was a Tesla car in matte black, with a falcon wing design on its door. She knew that it was expensive, fuming her anger. She started keying the paint, leaving noticeable scratches at the side portion of the car. Then, she grabbed a baseball bat. She first smashed the side mirror of the car. She also wrecked the lights behind the car, and finally, she smashed all the windows. This gave her satisfaction and an easy feeling. She felt like she won the battle between her and Lorraine. She returned to their condominium happily. They were in the dining room eating the spaghetti that she cooked when Chris received a phone call. It was from the admin of the condominium. They requested them to come down as soon as possible to the parking lot. Once there, Lorraine immediately saw her car wrecked. It had been keyed, and its windows and mirrors were all smashed. Who could have done this? she asked. Unfortunately, her park location was a CCTV blind spot. They both returned to their unit, frustrated about what happened. Chris asked Diane to be good to Lorraine, since her car was wrecked, but they were shocked on how she responded. I bet it pains your pocket since it's new, said Diane. He wanted to ask his daughter how she'd get the information about the car. However, Lorraine stopped him. From that moment, they knew that it was all Diane's doing. Lorraine was very understanding. She just ignored the fact that Diane wrecked her car. What she did instead was give more attention to Diane. On the other hand, 
Diane thought of more ways on how she would make Lorraine's life more difficult. She kept putting laxative on Lorraine's coffee, putting gum on her hair, and sometimes she would put staples on her shoes. One day, Lorraine knocked on Diane's room. I brought a surprise for you, she said, and opened the door. Then she showed Diane a Maltese dog. She might not have a child, but she treated her dog as her own. She also mentioned that they could give Diane good company while she and Chris were busy working. Diane seemed to like the dog as she hugged and gave the biscuits she was eating. Lorraine happily left the two to bond. She knew that it would be good for Diane. As Chris and Lorraine were in the living room working, Lorraine suggested that it was about time for Chris to tell Diane the truth, in order for her to move on. But he still refused to tell her daughter that her mother was never coming home. During their conversation, they heard a loud scream coming inside Diane's room. It bit me! It bit me! Diane cried. Chris rushed to her as he checked the bite. Her right arm was full of blood, and he immediately called for an ambulance. Lorraine also rushed to her as she wanted to check the bite, and kept on mentioning that her dog would not do such a thing. Furiously, he asked her to leave, together with her dog, and never come back. He then gave her daughter a hug. She needs to know, said Lorraine before leaving. As Lorraine grabbed the dog, Diane received a hug from her father and gave her the assurance that he would not let anyone hurt her. Diane's life went back to normal after Lorraine left the house. There were times that she was craving Lorraine's homemade spaghetti, and she remembered how she took care of her. Also, she's been observing her father. He had become more workaholic, always irritable, and sometimes she would see him staring at a blank wall. She never wanted to give a massive hole in her father's heart. One night, she went to her father's room and confessed about what happened the day she was bit. She confessed that the dog never did such a thing. She just made it all by herself. She also added how badly she treated Lorraine. Lastly, she admitted that she was the one who smashed Lorraine's car. Chris was stunned by what he heard. He was really disappointed about how his daughter behaved, and he regretted all his actions towards Lorraine. He also took the chance to confess about the accident that happened to her wife three years ago. He mentioned that the plane crashed, and her mother's body was nowhere to be found. I know, Granny told me, said Diane. The only thing he could do was hug his daughter and ask for forgiveness. The next day, Diane called Lorraine and told everything that she did about the car, biting accident, and laxatives. She asked for forgiveness and begged her to return to their house. Lorraine was moved by how Diane admitted all her wrongdoing. Because of her love for Chris and Diane, she forgot everything that happened and started new. She packed her bag and drove her way to Chris's place. To her surprise, Diane welcomed her by giving her a hug and a gift. It was a small box. The box had a locket necklace inside, with their picture together. While Chris was still outside, she decided to make spaghetti. As Chris was walking through their door, he smelled familiar cooking. It was Lorraine's homemade spaghetti. To his surprise, his daughter and Lorraine were sitting in the dining room, already waiting for him. He couldn't be happier. It was the beginning of a new and happy life. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that story, and stay tuned for the next video.